So today on Bees React, we're going to see how uh, Bees React to different hot sauces. This was another viewer submission from a couple of weeks ago. From left to right, we have a regular Texas Pete hot sauce. Dead center, we have the Taco Bell hot flavor of hot sauce taken from packets directly. And then on the right, we have a new from Chick-fil-A uh, honey sriracha sauce. As you can see, we already have one bee who already has fully enjoyed our middle Taco Bell sauce, and he is absolutely drenched. I can't... That's That's got to be painful. Uh, but hopefully he'll... Oh, oh, God. Clean himself off and, and be okay. You know, it seems to have survived it fairly unscathed, and that's probably going to be, be it for him today. Uh, so we'll set up the time... No! No, 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 no! Why would you go back in? Why would you... Oh, and you swim through it. Oh, my God. Why? You just got out. Why would you do that? Okay, okay. Please stay out. Please don't go back in. That's too much hot sauce. That is too much hot sauce for anybody. We tried to keep the levels low so we wouldn't need strategically placed sticks, but gosh, uh, hopefully they are, they're good enough to stay out of it. That poor, poor bee. Why would you do that? Uh, but anyway, we'll set up the time lapse. We'll let them uh, go at it for a little bit and see if they uh, enjoy or try to stay away from this hot sauce. But so far, it doesn't, doesn't seem like they're avoiding it. We'll see you in a bit. So we're back from the time lapse. It seems like the bees probably had a preference for the first two sauces. Oddly enough, the sweet sriracha sauce they seem to, to pretty much avoid. It is also hard to tell because I think a good amount of the, the two sauces evaporated, but I do think the bees did seem to spend a lot more time on those, even though I think most of this lost is evaporation. Uh, a little bit of a fun fact that we learned while researching for this topic, uh, back in the day, what was very common for hot sauce producers to add an extra kick or a cheap kick uh, on top of the chili pepper flavoring, many times they would actually take several bees of different varieties and actually uh, mash them up and add them to their sauce. It wasn't a huge amount of bees, but they found that it would just give it that little extra kick that they needed to separate them from some of their, some of their competing brands. This is not largely practiced nowadays, but if you want to be sure, it's probably best that you ask the grocer or whoever you're buying your hot sauce from that the sauce that is being used is bee free. Uh, they, they should know what you're talking about. Just go, hey, I want to buy this hot sauce. Is this a bee free hot sauce? This can get confusing because there is one brand of hot sauce that is sugar and gluten free called bee free hot sauce. But once again, everybody knows this. Just go to your grocer and say, hey, I'm looking for some bee-free hot sauce, but not bee-free hot sauce, because that one I'm not sure whether they actually have uh, designated themselves as bee-free or not. So to be sure, just tell them I want bee-free hot sauce, but not bee-free hot sauce. And then they'll, they'll know what you're talking about. They'll be able to point you into the right direction. Okay, we'll see you at the next video.